materials you will need for this project are this, 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 and this. Fullness of materials is in the description box below. We're starting with the web cartridges. I'm just taking a piece of 5mm craft foam and using a pencil and ruler to mark out the lengths and widths I gave on the screen. Then I used an X-Acto blade to cut them out. You could use scissors, but an X-Acto blade will have a lot better, uh, cleaner edges. Then I made some slimmer ones and marked 3 eighths of an inch from the top and bottom and 1 eighth of an inch from the sides. I made two slits at the top and bottom of these two lines where they meet and then went halfway down through the foam. I cut sideways to just, it's hard to explain, just try to copy what I did. Then I marked one inch from the top of the foam, made a little mark, then cut a little slit. I dragged the X-Acto blade backwards two times on the edges of the lines, and I'm only going halfway through the foam here, notice. Then I stick my X-Acto blade in there sideways to cut it out to get a little, uh, not raised. The opposite of raised, whatever that word is. Effect. Moving on to the web cartridge details. I take a piece of clay and make it into a cookie shape. Then I take a clay tool, or you can use a paper clip that's been bent out, and make an X on it. This will replicate the head of a screw. You will need two of these for every web cartridge, and so in total you will need 12 of these for two web shooters. Bake according to package instructions. I attach these little screw head things to the top side that has the slit in it of the web cartridges using super glue. Make sure it's on the top because if it's on the bottom it won't be accurate. Once you've finished all of that, give all of them even coats of black paint. That will be primer for the silver. Once the black paint is dried, cover them with as many coats of silver paint as you want. I'm using a heater here to dry it faster. I cut a piece of fleece that is 8 and 3 8 inches long by 2 and 3 4 inches wide. This is big enough to fit around my wrist comfortably. You may need to adjust this on account of how big or little your wrist is. I then attach a piece of velcro which is slightly smaller than the width of the fleece on each side. One, I mean one piece on each side. I put the fuzzy side on the top and the prickly side on the bottom. If you put them both on the same side you won't be able to close it. Make sure one is on the top and one is on the bottom. On to the triggers. I made this strange shape out of clay, then attached a pen spring to it. I made, or I used two identical pens for the two identical triggers. Using a spring will allow the triggers to move like they would in real life. These aren't completely accurate, but I like this idea, and I couldn't find the right pieces to make it completely accurate. Here I've made four more thinner cartridges that are um, that don't have the dip notch on top. I made two smokestack broomstick things out of clay. These are going to be where the web shooters come out of. I paint the top and bottom with the same silver paint I painted the cartridges with. These are the measurements of the cartridges. I cut two pieces of craft foam that were two and a half inches by two and a half inches. Glue the little cartridges and the broom things to these. I cut another piece of velcro, slightly smaller than the red fleece, and then I cut it in half so that it would be smaller and then I'd have a thin piece for each web shooter. I attach these under the black foam squares. I don't have footage of me gluing the black squares on, it got lost. Now I'm going to assemble all the peach pieces, not peaches, pieces of the web shooters that I've made. 
I place where I want the larger cartridges to go. Or I map out where I want them to go while wearing the web shooter on my wrist. Then I use hot glue to attach them. I do these one at a time, waiting for each of them to dry in between. Make sure that the screws are facing your elbow and not the top of your hand. Eek! A mouse! Using scissors, I just remove this cord out of this old mouse that I found in my mom and dad's office, which is also my little brother's bedroom. I cut the mouse cord into four pieces that were each two and an eighth inches long. Then I used super glue to attach that, those little pieces, to the sides of the smaller web cartridges that were on the front of the web shooters. I held them in place while the glue dried. I cut two small pieces of craft foam that were one and three fourths inches by one and three fourths inches. I painted that silver and then glued it to the trigger and also to the web shooter. This is how I attach the trigger to the web shooter. This is not completely accurate, but I thought it looked nice. Then I weathered it. person who is listening to this right now but if there are multiple people in there watching this thank you all of you whoever is hearing this thank you for watching this video it means a lot to me because I've always wanted to be a youtuber it's been one of my one of my lifelong dreams yes anyway thank you for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed and that this was helpful and uh, yeah I'm really excited to finally almost finish my costume um, if this is your first video that you've seen by me, I've been doing costume and there's been other videos, there's only like two other videos in both of those videos, three other videos, and only one of those videos I have kept. Like, um, I made a different mask, and I made different web shooters, which you probably saw that clip already, but those videos, mm, I'm gonna leave them up, but I probably just don't watch them. If you have already watched them, okay, but if you, if you haven't watched them, just don't watch them, but... Yeah, here's the new mask that I'm working on. I'm not finished because I can't find any white mesh, but once I do that, put it in there, glue it to the mask, then my entire costume will be done, and I'm super excited. There'll be a video for this, which I just finished recently, this um, sweatshirt. <laughs> There'll be a tutorial on that on my channel, so if you want to see that, subscribe. Or if you like the stuff that I make, subscribe. And if you think that I'm slightly talented, subscribe, but whatever. So yeah, I just kind of went my own way, and it still looks better than my old trigger. If you want to see what that looks like, it's either in my glove video or my um, other web shooter video. But yes, these are 10 billion times better. But yeah, there's a video for my gloves on my channel. Um, if you'd like to see how I made this Groot and this Groot, I have videos on my channel, and if you'd like to see them, go watch them, because those are my two favorite things I've ever made, of the videos that are on my channel. This lighting is making me get really warm. If you'd like to see me make costumes in the future or just random little prop thingies that I decide to make, subscribe so you can see how I made those or if you just think, I don't know, I'm mildly entertaining but I'm not really, uh, you can subscribe. Thanks for watching, there'll be a video on this, this, this. There are videos of this right now which I'm doing and I, yeah, oh yes. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much for watching and always remember that I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more. Thanks for watching.